School districts are making decisions this week as to what the start of the new school year will look like. Both Utica Community Schools and the Wayne Westland Community School District boards are expected to vote tonight on return to learn plans. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has a look at the options they're considering. The clock is ticking. Schools across the state have to turn into the state their return to learn plans by Saturday. Wayne Westland is scheduled to have a meeting at 7 o'clock tonight. I spoke to a school board trustee who says she is using every moment she has to make sure she makes the right decision. It's very difficult because at this time, we're talking about the life and the death of students. We're in a pandemic. Melandy Hines is a trustee on the Wayne Westland Community Schools Board of Education. Monday at 7 is the time scheduled for a meeting that she says requires a tough decision. The district will be discussing whether to start the school year offering face-to-face -face instruction, hybrid instruction where students have staggered part-time in-class schedules to allow for social distancing, or completely virtual instruction. We have high poverty rate in our district, so not only do we have to make sure that it's safe to return to school, we have to make sure our kids are being fed, we have to make sure that they're in the proper learning environment. Some kids, the virtual might not be the way. You still have to look at parents that have to work, what are they gonna do with their children. Some districts have made the decision already, but many others are making the decision this week. Utica Community Schools will also have a board meeting this evening at seven. Board Trustee Hines says many boards were hoping they would have even more information from state lawmakers about what their budget would be before making a decision, so they would know what kind of preventative measures they could afford. To even with the, the PPE, you know, we have to make sure we get the money from the state. And then with the pandemic, a lot of businesses are closing, so we're not going to get all that tax money as well. She also wants to remind parents that if you are a parent with a strong opinion, there is an opportunity for public comment at these meetings. In Westland, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you.